I want to thank President Drake, the Board of Trustees, and Gene Smith for this opportunity and for naming me the 25th head coach at The Ohio State University. Gene and Sheila, there's a reason this is the best athletic department in America, and it's because of your leadership. I want to thank Urban Meyer and Shelley. I can't put words into what you've done for me and my family. I've learned so much from you on a daily basis and will forever be in debt to you. Your legacy will live on here forever. You can now sit in the box and yell at us for either going for it or not going for it on fourth down too. I want to thank my family back home in Manchester, New Hampshire. I got a lot of them. And that's where Nina and I both grew up. And without them, none of this would be possible. Thank you and I love you. To my wife, Nina, and my three kids, RJ, Grace, and Nia. The only way you succeed in this profession is to have a family that sacrifices. We've moved across the country and your support has been unwavering. And Nina, your strength is what makes our family special. I love you all very much. To the current team, this opportunity would not be possible without the current players and leaders of our team. They'll always have a special place in my heart for what they've done and where they've come from August to now. We are all part of something special here at Ohio State and the culture that Urban Meyer has created here is strong. And my pledge to the players is that our staff is gonna give you every opportunity to maximize yourself as a football player, as a student, and establishing your career after football. To Buckeye Nation, you have my word that I'm gonna give everything I have to continue the tradition of excellence and winning that this program has enjoyed during its storied career. My family and I have fallen in love with the passion that every fan has for the Buckeyes and what football means to this great state. You can feel it on game day during the skull session, during the walk to the stadium, and playing in the horseshoe on Saturdays. To the high school coaches in Ohio, we have the best coaches in some of the best high school programs in all of America here in Ohio, and it will continue to be our first priority to recruit Ohio football players. Every young football player in the state of Ohio should dream about one day becoming a Buckeye, and it's our staff's responsibility to make sure we recruit them at the highest level. On-field expectations. It didn't take long for me to figure out what the expectations were of Ohio State football. Number one, win the rivalry game. And number two, win every game after that. <laughs> I take this responsibility very seriously. And I want to thank the former players who have set the standard so, so high here. You're always welcome and continue to be welcome. And this is your home. On the field, you can expect a team that's going to be tough that's gonna have great energy and will be creative. On offense, we continue to force defenses to cover the entire field this year as we went from JT Barrett to Dwayne Haskins at quarterback this season, which took on a very different attack. But I feel strongly about our offense's ability to modify and adapt to our personnel year in and year out. On defense, we'll be aggressive with multiple fronts, sound and simple for the players so that they will have the ability to play fast. On special teams, we will continue to incorporate all of our best players on the team and it will be the tip of our spear of the program. To the faculty and staff, the profile of the student athlete that we recruit here is a direct reflection of the academic reputation that you've created and we realize how important that relationship is. I look forward to working with you and supporting each other in the future. And lastly, every coach who ever put a whistle around their neck strives to be the head coach at The Ohio State University. I fully understand the challenges that await for me. And being on the same list as Paul Brown, Woody Hayes, Earl Bruce, John Cooper, Jim Tressel, and Urban Meyer, it's extremely humbling, but I'm prepared and ready for the task. Thank you again for this opportunity and go Bucks.